Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It was introduced as part of a moral obligation to assist thousands of GovGuam employees. And after years in the works and nearly a dozen roundtables these past few months alone, a new retirement plan may soon be approved. Bill 2 was introduced early last year and dubbed the Hybrid Retirement Plan. Senators discussed the bill on session floor Friday for six hours. The legislation was initially a product of Senator Ben Pangolinan and the Gov Guam Retirement Fund. Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz introduced the latest reiteration early last year. In the old retirement fund, in the old DB plan, the uh, formula was 2.0 for your first 10 years and 2.5 for every year after that. This new plan is only 1.75 for the entire period that you're in government um, times the number of years times the, your three highest um, salaries during that period. So it's less generous or less lucrative than the old plan. The bill also incorporates Senator Michael Sinicolis' Bill 266 to create a new cash balance or security plan with mandatory participation by employees hired after December 31, 2017. Cruz as the DB 1.7 plan will no longer accept any more people come the end of next year. In the meantime, concerns were raised over the plan and the impact of the budget on GovGuam's finances or current employees. The one thing that I did add in, into this bill uh, is that I've authorized the retirement fund to extend the amortization period so that rather than paying everything off in 2031, we would be paying it off in 2033. Cruz says the substituted bill is as cost neutral as possible and provides for a floor benefit for all retirees, along with a survivor benefit for the retiree spouse or widow upon their passing. And um, so I'm confident that the retirement fund is and will be willing to support the bill as it, as it was introduced. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.